Good afternoon. Blessings in Jesus' name. I uh, just had a little thought in my spirit. Something mainly for me. But it's regarding relationships. Relationships. And it's regard to the relationships that we want to have with our Heavenly Father. And, and I was just thinking, it's like it's been so many years since I've been in a church environment. Some people say religious, but you just assume, you just assume, hey, you know, you have that loving relationship with God, you know, God loves you, you know that, but on my end, it wasn't quite mutual, but you just expect God to do things for you. You want to be blessed. You know, you want help with your finances, you want to help in your relationships, with your health, you know, with your children if you have them. You know, just situation out the situation is it's never it's never ending, you know. And you're always asking God, are you you hoping that God will help you make a way out of no ways, you know, even right now. But if you, if you think about it, do I really have a loving relationship with God? Do I really love God like God loved me? Let's just say it like that. Do I really respect God like God respect me and have put a lot of hope in me? A God put hope in you and love in you, you know, and look for that love to reciprocate. For one mile. And I can truly say is I'm just getting to the point after being around the church environment since 1992 of understanding that this being, this entity, that's always been there before I was even born. How much he cared for me? I can't speak for nobody else. Unconditionally, I've not matched it I'm just now coming to realization that I love God and I can say wholeheartedly but then you have it's like well I don't want to do this I don't want to do that you know I ain't quite where I need to be but it's growing you know any relationship even if it's <laughs> it can't it don't have to be a perfect relationship you it's going to be some love that's built it could be a bad marriage, you might be that good, or you have love for your children, you might not have the best relationship, or, you know, even a job, you know, you could be somewhere a long time, you might not even like it that much, but over time, it's some type of soul tie created. So with God, the most high, that's what he's looking for. I never understood the scripture. Uh, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. I mean, what does that really mean? You're doing all these different things. I'm, I'm God. I'm preaching. I'm teaching. People getting saved. People getting baptized. Filled with the Spirit. Being delivered. Next right onto South what Carolina you mean that uh, Dick Pond Road. <laughs> I don't know you and you're not coming into my... In heaven. You have to have a relationship. A genuine relationship where you can hear the God and God can hear you and it's building, you know, on your end because God is already there. There's nothing lacking on God's end. It's always on our end trying to get, South Carolina, get there. For one mile. And with the love, it's going to come respect and obedience. He said, if you love me, you will obey me. It might not be overnight or a few years. Sometimes it take, if God give you the grace, it might take 20 years for you to get an understanding. That I, I mean, it's like me, if I'm a married man and I'm not around my wife and I got, I'm tempted, that love gonna, you know, put me in check. No, I'm, I'm, I'm flattered. Hey, I'm tempted, but now I got this, I got a love for my wife, you know. Not just say, cause God say it, because I love her or it could be vice versa. The woman loved the husband. So out of love, you know, it's a, a certain type of love. I'm not going to do that. 
I'm going to keep you pushing. So it's all about relationship with God. God desire to have a relationship with each and every one of us. It's like with Adam, I said in a, a, a video before, you know, I heard somebody preach it and it made sense. God, Adam and Eve had a relationship with God where, you know, he would speak to them every day. I mean, he know everything, but at one point he couldn't find them spiritually because they broke the connection. But out of his love, God stepped into the, out of the supernatural into the natural to find them. They covered them with a, um, they were covered with some type of leaf. He, he actually slaughtered an animal and covered them with a, with some skins. That's a type of Christ, the covering, that blood covering, shed blood. But the love caused him to go beyond what he would normally do for Adam and Eve. And today he's still doing that. He, no matter where you at, you, you can be on death row. God still crying out until the more, to the point where they execute you or you, uh, you in the military or you in depression and the drug rehab, you on a job. No, no matter where you at, God is looking for that connection, that love, that relationship. And it needs to be genuine. That's what I'm praying for. God, give me a true genuine love, not looking for nothing in return. You know, I'm always looking for things. I, I'll be honest with you. I expect God to give me health and strength, uh, provisions, uh, you know, help me in my home with my relationship, my children. I'm always praying and interceding for other people. And I expect God to do it. You know, let the sun shine. Like today, I'm at the beach, the sun is shining, the water, you know, you got the wind. I just expect God to do that. I mean, and I, God expect us, me as a person, to love him back. He said, if you love me, you obey me. He said, you know, you would your body is a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is your reason. That's the least I can do is praise and worship God and, and, and you know, exalt God in my own way. That's the least we can do. He don't expect much. He don't expect me to love the idols, the things in the world, the people, the athletes, the cars and the houses. Yeah, he said, I, I, I bless you with these things. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all them things will be added to you. You know, that's that's the least. God going he gonna bless you. He take care of the, the birds that are there. They don't they don't plant. They don't sow, but he makes sure they fed. So it's just a short thought I had. Uh y'all have a blessed day.